All right, so my Patriots didn't win yesterday. Uh, it's funny how so many people are reacting, and I want to just quickly talk about the whole... First of all, there's a riot going on in Philly. It's probably still going on now, uh, 24 hours after the game is over. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, I can't say that we haven't had a few of those, but we weren't really burning stuff down here in Boston. I've, I've actually been involved in a couple of those riots. <laughs> I actually, I've, I've been in them and seen when they happen since I live here in Boston. Um <clears throat> For the most part, it's 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 more like you know jubilant celebration, and some idiot decides to climb on something. And um, I watched someone knock over a kiosk once, but it's like we weren't setting stuff on fire. So Philly, come on, man, keep it classy. Uh, at the same time, the reaction has been really odd. Like there's all these people being like, "Ha, the Patriots really aren't that great. Your Patriots lost." And so there's this sort of like sticking it in the face of all these Patriots fans. I'm like, guys, we've been to eight Super Bowls. We've won five of them. Like, the Patriots are the biggest, like, winning team in the history of football, possibly in the history of, of professional sports. So it's like, no, we're not going to sit there and go, our team sucks. It's like, we're not, we did not have a losing season. We made it to the playoffs. We are the AFC champions. Uh, we made it to the Super Bowl, and then we went up against a really great team. And they played terrible. Um, this is not the Patriots that I know and love. Uh, their offense wasn't great. Brady was not great. Um, Gronk stepped up to the plate when he could. Caught some really great passes. So did Amendola. Um, but man, the, you know, um, Brady was just not on his game as much as I thought he would be. Maybe that hand injury was uh, was really something that he wasn't going to be able to overcome. But you know what? I went out with my friends. We had wings. So we just got the wings, the wings at Wings Over Somerville. They are sold out completely. Someone went in there and asked for 15 wings and they said, nope, sorry, we are sold out uh, for the Super Bowl and they won't be able to take any orders until almost seven o'clock. Uh, and she only asked for 15 wings and they weren't able to accommodate her, but we got ours, so we're ready to go. We had wings, pizza, all the stuff I'm not supposed to be eating, <laughs> Doritos, uh, all the stuff that's not on my diet list. So I had a lot of fun with my friends. So I had a lot of fun with my friends, watched the game, uh, had a few brews, and then uh, came home after watching a, like a fun football night. And that's really what's important to me anyways. Uh, the fact that the Patriots didn't win, but had a great season, despite actually losing a step. They're not as good as they were. Uh, hopefully next year they're either going to step up or they're going to step down, and someone else is going to start a new dynasty. I'd like to see the Patriots do another year or two with Brady and uh, do really well. So we'll see. Um, but next up... Now for something completely different, right? We are going to be moving on and meeting up with my good friend, Dennis Hurley. All right, so here we are <clears throat> right outside the Assembly Road tea stop We can actually see in the distance the new casino, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, well, I'll have to do a vlog on that when we go check it out. But over here, the American Fresh Brew House, which, as you know, is where my good friends, Caitlin and Jeff, opened their second location for their brew house after they closed down their beer garden. And lots of good memories with that beer garden. Uh, we had a Chainsaw Maidens event there. Um, my birthday was there one year. Uh, I loved going out and having a beer under the stars. But also, this new place here, uh, much bigger in all weather. So a few times I got caught in the rain out that beer garden and uh, I thought I was going to be sleeping there. Now I said there's a connection between the Super Bowl and Dennis Hurley, and that is the halftime show is done by... Uh, Justin Timberlake, who had Dennis Hurley in his uh, video for Got the Feeling there. And uh, Dennis is one of the dancers in the background, and he's the, he's the guy with the white hair who's dancing in the aisles. He's got like a register gun. Uh, it's a really cute little uh, dance thing that he does, and he's in the big scene in the back. He's when he's dancing under the underpass with Justin Timberlake. So he got to be in that video, and 
he's kind of actually pretty well known for that because my god it's got like a billion views right it's got it's got millions it's got like tens of millions of views so lots of people have seen that justin bieber video uh, sorry <laughs> justin timberlake video and uh i'm gonna go up and meet with dennis now dennis was in my first feature film he was uh the evil doctor he was kind of like a mad scientist in the draken recruitment experiment and he's just a phenomenal performer uh, went out to LA to seek his fortune and did pretty well for himself. Was in lots of uh, little spots on TV. He had a reoccurring role on the TV show Superstore um, and uh, kind of just uh, spiraled from there. But he's back in Boston for a bit more and we're going to go hang out. Uh, so we'll see how that goes and uh, we'll see what's up and I'll try and get some footage. Maybe a quick little interview from him and uh, we'll go from there. It is an abandoned liquor store. Yeah. I named it Oblastiso. How did you come upon it? Uh, I drive by it all the time because I live near here. Yeah, it looks like they moved stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Look what they did with the, uh, the the little hat there. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't throw that out. They've been having fun with that, which is kind of neat. So, see if we can actually see anything. If there's any lights that we can actually turn on, that would be... Oh, there we go. Oh, man, look at this. Wow, so they've been ripping the roof out. So, this is the first time I've seen this. They've uh, started to gut the building. This is a company you hired? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. They're, they're definitely doing this. Uh, um, <clears throat> but this was not like this the last time I was here. Like, the roof was on. You can actually see they started to do oh, half yeah. of it. <clears throat> so from about where we're standing on, I'm going to wade out into the rubble here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from about here on, that is a production studio. All of that. High ceilings to hang lights. We're going to have green curtains screen. and green screens and stuff. Oh, cool. So all that. And this will be the office? Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, no, this is actually going to be a kitchen right here. The offices will be on the second story, which obviously hasn't been built yet. So. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> what did they do with my clowns? My clowns better be uh, somewhere safe. So, I'm going to quickly check out my clowns. All right, should I go with you? Or? Yeah, you can come down here. Okay. Oh, man, the, almost the whole bathroom is gone. So, it's hard to see because it's dark down. Okay, they put them down here. Um, oh, they removed this this whole. There was a room here. You can see the bare imprint of it uh, down here. But so this will be the. Or so this will just be the downstairs storage because I don't really think we're going to be able to do much with this space. Um, it's had a lot of flooding problems until we hopefully got that fixed and put in a new pump. Nice. But uh, man, so I'm thinking this is just going to be my mat cave. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm calling it. The uh, the downstairs basement place where I you know I get to. Kind of like uh, chill out after work. Yeah, there'll be like a little. There'll be um, you know, like laundry and stuff down here. That that type oh, of thing, but cool. nothing too crazy. But I'm gonna have storage for all my crap and production stuff. And hopefully we get this like, geez, they just fixed this. This whole thing is like this used to be underwater almost. So there used to be like a room here that's gone. It's so weird because there's so much more space here. I've shot a, we shot a couple of horror movies down here. Like, um, my friend shot this, it was kind of like a crime movie. I don't know if you know Michael Gonza, but he shot no, a movie know. down here. And then, okay, my clowns are down there. <laughs> and uh, so Michael Gonza shot a movie down here, and then I had someone shoot upstairs. So eventually, you know, I mean, the ceilings are not really high here. So it's like we got a pretty low ceiling, but they've ripped out most of what was up here, man. It's all gone. So it seems like so much more open than it was. So maybe you could do something down here, but I think this is going to be a man cave. Storage and man cave. Right. Yeah. So then there's going to be a second floor with a balcony basically in the middle, and then a bedroom over here and a bedroom on that side. So my bedroom will probably be like, like from here over on the second floor. Oh, and that's then, like awesome. That's super convenient. Because yeah. you'll just live right where you're. Where I'm doing all this cool is. stuff. Yeah. 
Great. So that's that's the plan. And um, you know, if you remember, like, the idea with like Ned's place was what we were gonna like try to actually like produce all the time, except it never really happened that way. Yeah. So hopefully we can do that here, do more sketch comedy stuff because that was fun. Except yeah. everybody's gone. <laughs> Alan's gone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he wrote a lot of those. He wrote all the stuff. Alan's gone. I mean, you're gone. I guess a bunch of those people are still around, but uh, most of them are not there anymore. Yeah. It's such a strange thing. It's so far away. L.A.? Yeah. I got invited to a party at the end of February. I was like, I should go just because, like, it's in L.A. But, yeah. I got three brothers here, and they got kids, and it's like, I was trying to balance the Well, when I did, when I did the whole Renaissance festivals... When I was doing that pretty hardcore, right? I just felt like I was gonna miss my nephews growing up, and it's like you don't get that time back. Like it's either right. they're, either they're gonna be like teenagers, which they are now, or they're gonna be kids. And so. That's right. All right, man. God, they just wrecked this place. <laughs> and uh, beautiful. I'm yeah, glad that stuff is great. happening. I think it's gonna be awesome once we actually turn this into something useful and cool. All right. So, <clears throat> so that wraps up my. Uh, Fun afternoon with Dennis. We then went out for uh, <clears throat> a couple of brews and talked over old times. Uh, but he's going to be spending some time here, so we'll see what we can do to get him involved with the studio. Uh, we did a lot of work together, and he's brilliant. He, he does really great work. So I look forward to having him around. Um, <clears throat> and we are going to have to see Dennis again because he left his bag in my car. And I have your Fritos, Dennis. Your Fritos I am holding hostage. So if you do not come and hang out with me again and grab another beer... Who knows what could happen to those Fritos? They could be lost forever. Uh, but there we have it. All right, man. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Support us on Patreon.